All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Dog Days, 1939. I'm giving it two out of five stars. I just liked it. It's a 10 minute short on the room service. DVD. Here it is. Whew. This is what I'm eating. You want to drink this? <laughs> there's room service. And there's at the circus. Very bland looking DVD. It's one of those flip it over side A, side B kind of deals. I've got another short. Oh, there's Karate Man. Hey, Karate Man. You want to drink some of this? <laughs> I dare you to chug on this. <laughs> Police story. <sighs> yeah, my eyes are running. My no nose is running. And I'm breathing hard. This is a uh, ghost pepper noodle. Ooh. Ay caramba, ghost pepper noodle. A million Scoville. <laughs> uh, how much? A bell pepper is one Scoville. A ghost pepper is a million Scoville. <laughs> oh, man. Police story. Uh, are you talking? about Jackie Chan, Hong Kong. I didn't know you were into Hong Kong action movies. Karate Man. Which ones have I reviewed? Oh. Sorry, give me a minute. I need to add Swamp Fire first with Johnny... Uh, Wes Mueller and Buster Crab. Let me add this real quick. Swamp Fire. Okay. Let me look it up on Netflix. I think it's faster. Gen movies. Um... I've only reviewed the first two. Well, then it would have to be either one or two is my favorite. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I had a rough day yesterday. Only worked for six hours, but I... Um, I didn't like new police story. Uh, you didn't mention that one. My favorite one is Police Story 2 and Police Story Lockdown. Those are my those are my two favorites. Police Story 2 and Police Story Lockdown. Does that answer your question? <coughs> I didn't think the first one was that great, honestly. I like the second one better. Just because Jackie Chan did more dangerous stunts and he just went all out crazy on the second one. The first one was okay. Uh, the other uh, police story I dislike, but... Uh, Let's see if I can uh, find Police Story 3 on YouTube. <sighs> By the way, Karate Man's in the chat room, in case you're wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> Super Cop. That's a buyer rent. I'm not getting that one. Um...
Police Story 4. That's an, uh, oh, I found Police Story 4. Uh, I'm going to add it to my list if it's in English. Oh, it's got English subtitles. Cool. All right, I just added Police Story 4 to my list thanks to Karate Man. Now my list is super long. Now I'll talk about dog days. This is an R gang short. The gang owes 37 cents to Butch. So they tried to raise money by rounding up stray dogs for the reward, but nearly get busted for dog napping. <clears throat> That's dog days. Uh, it gets a uh, it gets a 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb. Only 186 ratings. Um, I kind of like arguing the uh, the misspelling on their uh, secret entrance and uh, other misspellings that they do. Um, I like buckwheat, of course. Buckwheat is the highlight of our gang. It's the politically un uh, incorrect racist. Oh, yeah? Even more insane than Police Story 2, huh? Cool. Uh, looking forward to Police Story 4. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll never watch Police Story 3. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got on Netflix. And then uh, I'll talk about Buckwheat. Oh, yeah, Buckwheat. So Buckwheat is the uh, stereotype racist character, the black boy. And uh, I remember in, uh, oh, here we go, Naked HD XYZ. I remember in grade school, this kid had a Buckwheat T-shirt. Naked HD XYZ? Yep. There's karate, man. There's Naked HD XYZ. <laughs> My son got interested when uh, when the Russian span bob came to the chat room, not when Karate Man came to the chat room. <laughs> Karate Man's like a magnet for HD XYZ. <laughs> All right. There's the great McGinty. This is what I'm going to be watching tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it seems like every time you enter the chat room, that's when uh, the Russian spam bot comes. There's it. Not the 1990 it that I just added to my Netflix queue, but the uh, remake it 2017 that my son recommended to me many years back, several years back. Um, Scotty Beckett is in dog days. What else was Scotty Beckett in? Very young looking Scotty Beckett as cousin Wilbur. I told you Beckett was an R gang. You didn't believe me. <laughs> oh, yesterday, man. So we have this thing where uh, if we deliver outside of our time window, either 8 to 10 or, uh, or 6 to 8, we... Uh, 
the customer ends up getting refunded. We have to call in and explain why we're late. So I called in and I explained that I, it's impossible to deliver eight stops in San Francisco in one hour, especially if I'm zigzagging all over the place, okay? Six stops in the avenues and then uh, 15 minutes to drive to North Beach. And then another 15 minutes to deliver two stops is impossible. I asked the manager if I could skip over the nine to six stops and just go straight to the uh, eight to 10. He said, no, that's too much driving. You're going to work too many hours. You're going to put in seven and a half, eight hours for one batch. So I said, all right, forget it. But um, I only took two bathroom breaks. I took my meal break at uh, 7.15. And since I was uh, about a mile away from here, I just drove here and uh, took a big leak gu gushing all over the toilet. That was my first uh, leak. And then I tried to hold it in an effort not to uh, have too many customer refunds due to me being late and uh, end up pe peeing behind a... Uh, a uh, Red Bull truck at the Walgreens parking lot in downtown San Francisco because <laughs> there was nowhere to go pee. <laughs> so I just pulled over and, into the Walgreens parking lot, went behind the Red Bull truck, started gushing out tons of pee <laughs> in the parking lot. And then somebody pulls up right, right by the, uh, the Red Bull truck. So I, I'm yanking up my pants, and uh, anyways, that was my day yesterday, and today somebody stole my hubcap at the Safeway parking lot on Noriega Street, so I go to, uh, So I go to AutoZone in Daly City, and the guy doesn't know what he's doing. He sells me the wrong size rim, or uh, he sends me the, the wrong size wheel, wheel cover, hubcaps. And uh, he sells me 17. My tire is a 16. So I have to go back in there, get a refund, exchange it for the 17, which is like double the price. And uh, I don't have a tool to remember. It comes in a, a pack of four. So I'm able to pop on the uh, – I finally figured out how to pop on the uh, the wheel that had the um, missing hubcap. But the other three I can't pop off because I don't have a tool and I can't yank it off with my hands. So that's what happened to me today. <laughs> enter the karate man says enter the chat room pun intended get it <laughs> bruce lee reference to enter the dragon <laughs> yeah the noodles are good but they're super hot and i tried to pour some uh some onions in there to try to soak up the uh the heat oh here we go naked hd xyz looks like we found you a girl <laughs> really? After five years, you finally found me a girl? That's a miracle. I didn't think that could happen at age 52, 51, almost 52. <laughs> yeah, I used to curse a lot. I used to be a potty mouth. Uh, but then um, I think I learned it from that Canadian transsexual uh, who used to do video game reviews. I forgot his name, but uh, he used to have the Canadian flag in the background and he had the long hair. Then he, then he got a sex change. <laughs> he did the, uh, he did the review for things, and then he did uh, see Jane run. Uh, 
those were the only two reviews that I saw him do. <laughs> and I kind of copied him with this potty mouth. But then um, then they, YouTube started to do advertising, and they didn't put restrictions on uh, who could advertise and who couldn't advertise. So that's when I stopped swearing. I don't know. I'm not a right winger. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a left winger. I'm. Uh, I'm kind of a libertarian up from the muck of men enslaving men, <laughs> just like my son. <clears throat> sister thinks I'm far right or something. Yeah, his half sister thinks that he's a. Uh, He's a, libertarians are like Nazis or, or white supremacists or something. <laughs> uh, around here, they're just like meaner version of Republican. At least that's the way it was back in the 90s. Maybe it's worse now. <laughs> All right. So I showed you the videos. I told you what was coming down the pike next week on Netflix. They're all my choices. They're they're none of your guys' choices. And Karate Man has about a hundred to go before I get to his section of my Netflix queue. <clears throat> Slowly waking, making my way through this stuff. But uh, anyways, um, let's see. I'm working on Return to Frogtown. Or also known as Frogtown 2, a film by Donald G. Jackson, who did uh, Hell Comes to Frogtown. That one has uh, Brian James in it. Plays a mad scientist. Remember Brian James? <laughs> Karate Man's favorite. <laughs> Brian James is in a lot of action movies, I guess. <laughs> He was in that uh, that cyborg movie. What was it called? <laughs> I can't even remember the name of it now. Uh, he put, he had that fake German accent. In this one, he just kind of mumbles like, eh, "Return to Frog Town." All right, The Wasp Woman, 1959. Jack London, 1943. The Monster of Pedrius. Blankus, 1959. The Crawling Hand, 1963. Invasion, invasion of the Animal People, 1959. The Jungle, 1952. One Body Too Many, 1944. Blood Warriors, 1933. 1933. 1993. Blood Warriors, 1993. Screaming Tiger, 1973. The Wild World of Batwoman, 1966. Queen of the Amazons, 1947. Hell Up in Harlem, 1973. Snow Beast, 1977. Platoon Leader, 1988. Sherlock Holmes, The Case of the Reluctant Carpenter, TV Episode 21, 1955. Mercenary Fighters, 1988. The Buckskin Lady, 1957. Stormcatcher, 1999. The Taking of Beverly Hills, 1991. The Manster, 1959. Bedside Manor, 1945. And this one is Dark Mountain, 1944. Oh, go back. Go back. <laughs> Sorry, let me pull up my list again. I have to do this with three of, on my list because they just, just say and they don't tell me the movie title on my favorites list. Ah, what a royal pain in the arse this is. <laughs> Going through my list is, has become a real chore. The Crater Lake Monster. 1977, The Giant Spider Invasion, Stick, 1985, 
<clears throat> this one is The Forest, 1982. Oh, come on, go back. What else we got on here? Do this. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, Phantom from Space, 1953. The Dungeon of Haro, 1962. The Amazing Mr. X, 1948. Damnation Alley, 1977. And this one is... Drum roll, The Most Dangerous Game, 1938. Uh, what else? I've got a bunch more on here. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Here we go. Any day now. <laughs> um... Shadow Warriors 2, Assault on Death Mountain, 1999. Law of the Jungle, 1942. Blake of Scotland Yard, 1937. Kansas City Confidential, 1952. Uh, the White Cannibals. Uh, sorry, The White Cannibal Queen. Excuse me, 1980. Windjammer, 1937. Swampfire, 1946. And last but not least, Project S, Police Story 4. Oh, Nemesis. That was it, 1992. I didn't think it was that great, Nemesis. It was the uh, Terminator ripoff. I just watched another Terminator ripoff, Karate Man. It was called Program to Kill, also known as The Retaliation. And not only was it a Terminator ripoff, but Universal Soldier ripped off um, Program to Kill, a.k.a. the... Um, the retaliation. So, uh, so that was kind of cool. Oh, it has the director of Cyborg. I'm gonna have to go back and look that up. Anyways, I thought you might find that interesting. Instead of the uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren version of Universal Soldier, you got the uh, Sandal Ber Bergman version of Universal Soldier. And she's pretty big, too. She's six feet tall. I wouldn't want to grapple with that woman. Holy cow. She's... Yeah. <laughs> uh. I feel sorry for her husband. It must be like kissing a man. <laughs> I dated a, I dated a Chinese volleyball team member from the uh, national Chinese volleyball team. And she was quite tall. <laughs> I thought I was making love to a man. Uh. All right. All right. So, um, Karate Man wants to talk Terminator because we're talking Terminator ripoffs again, which in turn came to be programmed to kill ripoff. <laughs> a ripoff of a ripoff. All right. Karate man, spit it out. I got to drive my son home. I'm going over 25 minutes here. 
<laughs> I gotta cut this off. Stop this ride. I want to get off, Karate Man. <laughs> Well, nice chatting with you. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more reviews. I only did two today, but check out my other review if you're interested in uh, the Sandal Birdman, Universal Soldier. Laters. <laughs>